everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for 3 p.m. Eastern, April 1st, 2019. Just a little uh, heads up. We have, I will be having tomorrow at
you don't know if it's real. But yet, so many follow that blindly because that's what they believe is, that's what they believe. That's what it is. So, when you, it would be nice, obviously, if you could just wash all that away and have the knowing of who and what you are and navigate from your vast storehouse of knowledge that you've acquired as a soul, as a spirit, as a gut spirit. And the biggest key is plugging into the collective consciousness of the universe. Knowing that everything, all that there is ever has been ever will be, is part of you. So the higher you can think, the higher you can sense and feel, with no limitations, the more you'll expand and grow. The word it can't be done is part of a control mechanism that was set loose onto the civilization and in civilization for a long time ago. But if you, or when you, understand that you really are in control, that you're the navigator, you're the master, you're the commander. So you depict, you deem, you identify, you choose what direction. Everything is an adventure. Everything is an adventure. You know, you ever thought about when you were a kid and you were excited about something, or even now as an adult, you get excited about something and you can't wait, you can't wait. You're just really pumped. You get high enthusiasm. You're just overflowing with uh, motivation, excitement, enthusiasm. Imagine being that way every moment. Imagine being that way every moment. God. Now, all of you on this call are here for, for, for a definitive marker reason. And that is that you're awake enough and aware enough and you have all traveled many, many lengths in this life. We've all been challenged with many different things and are being challenged. And you are all the ones who will assist this civilization as a guide to help it ascend into a new beingness, a new life, new existence. And you've all met relatives, family members, and everything that are all, you know, so to speak, they're in the fog. Not a bad thing. It's just, it's 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 just like when when the majority of us were in the fog, and then we vacuumed it off, and we were able to see clearly. So in this meditation, be. And, and as uh, Gandhi has said, and this has been used in songs and everything, be the change you want to have happen. View the planet, the civilization, as you would like it to be. Shower your attention your love, your kindness, and saturate the planet, Gaia, the civilization, everything you see, everything you come across, every, (laughs) excuse me, every thought, notion is saturated in your divine 
divine love. Your deep eternal love. It is literally everyone on the planet, all life is floating in it. Watch as the colors change, because they will. Watch as you become more buoyant, lighter, happier, more joyous. And sustaining this, this isn't a one-timer. This is a continuous sustaining energy of now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, but right now. And guess what? Each and every one of you have the power to do that in a blink of the eye. The conviction is from the heart, the heart mind. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted. I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, you're going to want to relax. Relax the body. You know, a lot of times we carry a stress. We don't even know it. We have no idea. We think we're relaxed. Shoulders are critched up. You know, you know your lower spine is tense. 90% of all Americans have a weak lower spine. So you begin to realize that if you're tense, let it go. There's no reason to carry it. It's important to be as soft on yourself, loving to yourself as possible, and complete calm, peace, beingness, enthusiasm that you express to yourself of actually being in the body. you're relaxing every single part of your physical body you're going to want to breathe and you're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as you breathe in through the nose breath in you want to hold it 1001 1002 1003 and then exhale through the mouth and while I'm talking you're going to want to do this at least six times As you breathe in, imagine that all of the, everything that you breathe in is essence, life energy. And that it all is full of communication. It's full of knowledge. And so as you breathe this in, it always communicates to you. It's not nothingness, it's everythingness. So as you breathe it in, you, you, you receive communication. And it's coming from the collective consciousness of the universe. And it literally gives you a clear view that you're the change everyone's waiting for. We all are. We are the change. And feel that vibrate in your heart center, your heart mind. We always have been. There's no coincidence that word doesn't exist. You all are taking a higher step up in your awareness and your divinity at this time on and in this planet to basically spread your wings and lift up the civilization, lift and accelerate the life into a new beingness. Everywhere you look, everything you experience, is in your command. It is in your command. You do not lose control of all that there is. You give the control away because you're tricked into doing so. Each 
and every one of you are the power, the omnipotent power that you're seeking to have occur in this planet that's civilization. Isn't that interesting? You are the power. And the divine positive energy lets you know that the mind and the ego will continually work on you to convince you that that is not a truth, that it's a fairy tale. And the more resistance you get, the closer you are to the truth of it. The more you believe it, the more resistance you get. See? As you breathe out, you're breathing out all of the resistance, all of the things that keep you pinned, strapped, okay, that basically dictate you the ball and chain, so to speak. And you expel it. You watch it just vaporize, just completely disintegrate with no remnants, no trace whatsoever. It's totally transmuted neutralized substance. light, you're empowered, and you're at optimum power, you're full, you have been for many, many years, so what we do is we turn into our heart mind, this is a place that we reside until we move up out of the body and we float right above the crown chakra, right above the head. So we really aren't in the body, we're in the command chair above the body. And you'll know when that time is upon you. So as you're into the heart mind, you're immediately met with your higher self, your truest love, best friend, confidant, protector, everything. You emerge, you embrace, you feel this immediate surge of lightness, bliss, love, caring, no judgment. And you're one. And you have successfully started in motion of bringing heaven to earth. The body is the earth. The heaven is your soul, your spirit. Doesn't it make sense that with all of these wonderful spirits of the highest divine energy, that this planet should be bristling and glowing and sparkling with the greatest reverence, happiness and joy, peace and prosperity, possible. We flow with the powers, the energies that we are and that surround us. We flow with the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the purple transmuting flame, the violet ray, the white fire, the violet blue purple flaming light Archangel Angel Michael, the golden white pink light of Mother, Father, God, Prime Source, Creator, God. All of these energies are us. And we are them. And they flow everywhere. It's almost like the space that we occupy is fluid. And we drink it in always. totally protected. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. It locks in. It begins to hum. It vibrates a deep, eternal love light energy. It's just expansive. It is a brilliant, warm glow. And we begin to elevate above the planet. And as we elevate, effortlessly, we call 
upon our brothers, our sisters, our oneness, the light energy beings who are everywhere in the galaxy, in the universes, in the dimensions and densities, who are of the deepest eternal love and from the deepest eternal love. We ask them to join us, and they come, and they come in massive numbers, and they join us gladly in deep humbleness and appreciation as we are appreciative and humbled by their presence. And we love them and they love us. And our light continues in this process to grow, flourish, and expand. We call upon all of the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes. Many of you, if not all of you, are angels and gods and goddesses. And as you flow and as they come in, there's a familiarity. There's a knowingness. There's a comfort, a love that is experienced. And as they flock in, they flock in in the billions. And they join us, and our circle just keeps expanding, and the light keeps growing, and the darkness of space keeps dimming, and they embrace us, we embrace them, and we feel their love, and they ours, and we're one. We call upon all of the Ascended Masters, too many to name, we only name a few. Some have never been mentioned. Kuan Yin, Maitreya, Buddha, Lakshmi, Ganesh. We have St. Germain, we have Abundantia, we have Sananda, Jesus, El Moria, Gaia. We have all of these, they come immediately appearing with us, side by side, hand in hand, arm in arm, all smiling, beaming with deep eternal love, as we are with them. We're humbled and grateful and thankful that they are with us, as they are. And we expand. We call upon all of the inhabitants of inner earth and hollow earth, all of the benevolent inhabitants under earth who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. And they are with us. They come. They join us gladly in great gratitude. This is a connection for all that there is. This is a calling to all the pieces of the collective consciousness of the universes to join us in this massive meditation. We expand. We grow lighter. And we are thankful. We call upon all the galactics at this time who are above benevolence and deep eternal love from deep eternal love who are assisting us in the maneuvering and enlightening journey of ascension, enlightenment, of freedom from bondage. And we thank them and we love them. And they love us, and they are with us, and they join us in this meditation. We call upon all of our loved ones who have passed in this life, and all of our loved ones in all of the lives we've inhabited who have passed. And they join us of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love. And we embrace, you feel the 
energy. You feel the oneness, the expansion, out, out, expanding into the universe, into infinity. We call upon all of the light energy beings who have chosen to be housed in the following forms, in the fixedness on this planet at this time. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, the gnomes, the trees, the elementals, earth, air, fire, water. The mermaids, the dolphins, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn. All that there is, all the life, sparks of divinity. To join us in this meditations of deep eternal love from deep eternal love, and they flock to join us. They join with the archangels, and they join with light energy beings, and they join with everyone. And we are one. And our light pulsates out into the universes out to the fringe of creation, before creation. We are creation. We look up and we see our meditative sphere that we have created. Housing over 400 meditations that we have enacted, set into motion. All of the power, the energy, the intent, the love, the kindness, the joy, the generosity, the peace, the prosperity, the abundance, overflowing, saturating us, raining down upon our heads, saturating and flooding our physical bodies, our etherical bodies, inside and out from head to toe, where we glow. This sphere can be seen from any universe, any density, any dimension. It bristles with deep eternal love of the highest divinity, of the highest power, for it is creation. It is total peace and prosperity and love for all. As we look down upon the planet, our intent is a peace, paradise, a prosperity, a joy, sustained. So it is and so shall it be. And as it spreads, we watch. We watch from black and white to technicolor. We watch from nothingness to everythingness. We are part of it. We are part of the experience. The enthusiasm, the excitement, the continual expansion of knowing who, what we are. We are bliss. We are the divine energy of the cosmos. We are happy. We are moving to nirvana, an existence of the true heaven. This we, cho we choose for this planet, inside and out. Total harmony, total peace, total prosperity and protection. One of the reasons this meditative sphere has been created is to harmonize all energies, all unbalanced frequencies, all disparities into total peace, prosperity, harmony, and joy, into bliss, into samadhi, into kundalini. All of this is where our true home is. It's where we blossom, expand, dropping all of the 3D density energies and eliminating them, vaporizing them. After all, each and every one of us are the master, the, 
commander. We are light ships. Nothing holds us down but the trickery of the lower frequencies. Once we know this, this civilization is set free to expand, to grow. To think for itself, to lead itself in peace and harmony and joy, bliss. Experience it. You see the glow. You see the glow on everything, every life, every emission. The glow of the planet, Gaia, the glow of you. You will get to a point, go into a dark room, sit for a moment, stay in the being, and watch as your body begins to glow. Swim in it. Mingle. Embrace. Joyously. Thankful. Grateful. Appreciative. Humble. This is our witnessing of the change, the shift, the love the exuberating light, cleansing, expanding. I'll join you in a meditation and I'll return to close us out.
those energies continue to morph from where we, <coughs> excuse me, where were we, we were at decades ago as compared to where we're at now. And this isn't, this is not a figment of anybody's imagination. This is the reality of who and what we are. We are literally moving the energies in an upward mobile pattern of expansion, which increases all of ours and everyone else's, the awakening factor. It's in full swing. And you're going to see rapid acceleration beyond anything to date. There will, be, there will be sky anomalies. There will be, because of the energy that you all are, there will be ocean anomalies. There will be things that will shift, shimmer almost, especially coming into the spring and summer, in the long day. And you watch as it expands. And you'll feel the joy saturating and overflowing into the physical body, into this third density. Most of us are in a crystalline transference. We are literally moving. The bodies are transferring into crystalline base. We are expanding greatly. This is why you've often heard that this is the best time to be alive ever. The best time to be in a physical body. Imagine learning of yourself and who and what you are that you will eventually sustain your health. You will eventually eradicate all negatives, all things that cause you discomfort. Imagine flowing with everyone around you, this ease, the kindness, the peace, the joy. You'll create this more and more and more. It will be your desire. It will fulfill you continuously. There's no end. It just keeps expanding. You look at it this way. A universe is, is born, and then the universe expands, and then eventually the universe comes to an end. And the only reason it comes to an end is that the collective consciousness has gathered enough understanding on how to take that energy, repurpose it into a new universe that is more spectacular than the last, more open and knowing, more enlightened, More and more and more. In great humbleness, in great gratitude, in great appreciation, always sustaining, maintaining, and advancing forward, constantly becoming more in peace, more in joy. We'll feel all these things that this density has attached to you, fall away, and you will be absolutely in splendor, gratitude and happiness and joy. Take it with you through the rest of the day into the evening and night the next morning. We will have a, a time for change call uh, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And we're doing some, we're working on some ways to um, get the time for change calls uh, onto YouTube uh, so that uh, we've got so many people asking for the, if the links aren't there because people volunteer their time so they can't always be smack dab there to get that done. Uh, so it might be a couple of days, so then, then I end up sending it out manually to people. And so we're working as best we can on that to get that more smooth and accessible for everybody. Um, you know, because there's, you know, people do a lot of work and they have, uh, they, they put a lot of heart and effort into that uh, amongst their other uh, 
of responsibilities. So, and we have another website that uh, we'll be working on, and then I'll announce that later, uh, that people can educate themselves, okay? Uh, can look at material, copy material. that will greatly assist them. So as you are in euphoria, as you continually rise into nirvana, that's our ultimate goal, nirvana, the true heaven. And as you float through the day in total peace, prosperity, and harmony, All that we are, ever have been, and ever will be, our true, deep, eternal love, peace, and prosperity. So be it. Enjoy it. Embrace it. That which is you. We'll be back here.